This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? Join this one in progress. Two nothing so far. Mount St. Joe's here against Gerstel Academy. Three and one for the Gales. And it's the big fella inside. Brown puts it in for the four nothing lead. Mount St. Joe's trying to rebound off the loss on Saturday at the Matha against Gonzaga. First Tell Academy trying to rebound for their loss against McDonough inside to spin it in. And it's in and one more from Harrison. We did Gers Tell two weeks ago. And a feisty game against Loya. Spin out. And the Gales get the rebound back. Balfour had it, gives it up. Bishop, get around the top of the key. Crawley goes inside, that one tipped and missed. Rebound back over to the Falcons, back the other way inside. We are tied. Nope, did not go. Oh, he's tied. Another turnover. Harrison gets it. Back for the Falcons. Back the other way. That one tipped and missed. Two straight front end misses there by the Falcons. 
Crawley. Goes inside, back to Brown. Brown, count it, and one. That one did not go there for Brown. Four two game, four thirty here left in the first. That was blocked from behind from Brown. He back the other way. And a turnover there by Ekabika. Substitution, Johnson in, Crawley steps out. Bringing it up is Harrison. Jumper, that one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound. It's third chance. That one didn't go. Another chance. And finally a foul is called. First shot. In there. Second shot trying to cut the lead to two. Got that one. Both of them go for the Falcons, and all of a sudden it's a two-point game here in this one. Swings it back over to Bellsford. Bishop got it took from behind, turned over. Back the other way is Gerstel. Back double. Wide open three. That one missed, offensive rebound, didn't go. And the ball's batted everywhere and it's gonna stay with the Falcons on the end of the court. Bounce back in. Malone drives now. And it's fouled. He's coming up to shoot two. And he, if he hits both free throws, the game will be tied at six. First shot, no good. Malone missed the first. See if he can hit the second one to cut the lead to one. Second shot, that one front end missed too. So both misses there for the Falcons. Back over Bishop in his corner for three. That one tipped and missed. Rebound to Malone, back over to Gerstow. Carpenter. Gerstow people saying it was tapped. Did not look like it to me and the ball will go back to the Gales. Actually, no, it was tapped. So Gerstel will keep it on there in the court. Thompson will inbound. And it was picked off. Back comes Bishop. Kicks it up court. Inside, no good. And 
going to be a two shot foul coming up for Johnson. Three minutes in left in the quarter. It's a 6 4 game. And this one. First shot goes in. Second shot hits. That's kind of a two for there. Free throws have dominated the quarter so far for both sides. Stanton puts in the corner and a travel. Ball back to Mount St. Joe's. That's a three, that one tipped and missed. Offensive rebound there, balls on the deck, and then turned over. Gerstow will get it back here. Top of the key, Carpenter, still with it. Swings it over the corner, that's a three. That one tipped and missed. With all the long distance shooting for Gerstow, not happening here in the Smith Center. Inside, kicks it, brings it back over to Brown, and count the basket in one. So Brown will shoot two. One didn't go. Gerst tell. The ball swings back inward. Pull up jumper. Got it. Harrison puts the two in. He cuts the lead. Down to four. Ten six. Pull up. Got it. That's long distance two there. Putting the shot clock. Back to 35 to 12 6 game here for Mount St. Joe's. Watching this right here at the Smith Center. Earlier game than normal for Mount St. Joe's, a 6 p.m. start time. Used to that 7 p.m. start time a lot. Yeah. Our defense there, Carpenter brings it out for the Falcons. Off the screen, kicks it back over. Drive, that one's blocked. Back over to Mount St. Joe's. 45 seconds and counting left. And the ball tapped out of bounds. The Gales will keep it. Ball for will inbound. Back over to Crowley. Also the starting five still in the game here. Pull up. Spins out. Offensive rebound. That's a three. That hits. Ball four hits the corner three. Biggest lead for Mount St. Joe's at nine. Shot clock is off at 24 seconds left.
inside, no good. Offensive rebound does go in. That was all good there by Josh Matthews. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Got to pull it up. And will not go. So after one, it's 15 8, Mount St. Joe's. First Tell Academy, this is one of their last games in MIA conference play before they switch back over to the B conference action. Mount St. Joe's. Again, early, trying to find himself still as we go into the second quarter. Second quarter underway. And a jump ball. Ball's going to go to Mount St. Joe's. Back over to Crawley here. Once again, the Mars die. Alexander Johnson, AJ, here on the camera. Belfour. And is that a foul? I think that's a foul off the ball. Didn't quite see the call, but we know either way it's going back to uh, Gerstel. Back over the other way. Swings it, Matthews. Over to Carpenter. Matthews pulls up and hits. Not used to seeing him shoot out that range and that was one that was good. And swings it, shoots it, hits it. Balfour getting hot here. Side, that's a foul. Two shot foul coming up. First shot is no good for Stanton. Second shot goes in. So both of them almost did a 0 for 2, -er, but that second one went in. Seven point game here for Mount St. Joe's. Back over. Sykes had it briefly. And the ball's out of bounds, gonna stay with Mount St. Joe's. Rebound. And Crawley at the top of the key. Passed it back out. Swings it over. Bishop now. The 
Davis again. And he turned it over. Back comes Gerstel. Fast break time. Inside the layup. And it drops in. Harrison puts it in. And all of a sudden, it's a five-point game. Folks, we've seen this before. Gerstel will not go away. Crawley from downtown. That one tipped and missed. It's going to be a foul against the Falcons. That's their 16 foul. One more. And it will be the one and one for Mount St. Joe's. So Balfour will inbound. Swings it to the top there. Crawley Bishop. Swings back over. Inside the Brown. Swings it, shoots it, hits it. Johnson for three, and he puts it in. 21-13 game. Passed it. Off the hands there of Malone, he was able to keep it. And an offensive foul. That's my apologies. That was uh, Josh Matthews at attack number 33. Back over and a travel. Brown wasn't able to keep his feet down, and the travel happened there. Canadian transfer here from Mount St. Joe's. Five minutes left here in the half. And an eight point lead here from Mount St. Joe's, trying to rebound off the defeat against Gonzaga. On the other day. Inside. Passed it back out. Was coming. That's a three. Hits it. Nice three. Did by Sean Barrett. As you know, Reggie Tinsley. How about the big fella? Not used to the seeing the big fella shoot that far range. I'd say he's got a task on him with Brown. Bishop kicks it. Johnson. Drives, throws it out to Crawley. Crawley. Passed it back. Belfour. Nice defense by Gerstel. Not letting them get in this set. Five on the shot clock. Johnson for three. That one was the air ball. Back the other way is Gerstel. They can cut into the lead again. Trying to keep the handle. Barely do. Inside Stanton. And... The ball tapped out of bounds by Gerstel. Mount St. Joe's get it back. We get Gerstel again Saturday. Taping against City College at uh, CCBC Catonsville. Not too far away from here in the Smith Center. We'll talk more about that later on in the telecast. Brown was fall, fouled before the entry. He's shooting a one and one. First shot goes in. Second shot here. That one tipped and missed. Rather with the rebound for the Falcons.
Not my best from Thompson. Trying to shake him. Rafa had it briefly back to Thompson. That's a three from Stanton. That one tipped and missed. Rebound back over. Belfour and the Gales up the court. Bishop for three. That one tipped and missed. Tapped in the air. Brown the long arms get the rebound. Swings it back over to Crowley. Crowley pulls up. And he's shooting two. Two shot foul. 2.51 here left in the first half. First shot, no good. Flex on episode 210. Sports how you want it when you need it. 10 p.m. WBGL Sports Network Facebook page as well as the Flex on Facebook page. Brandon Williams, beat writer for Bowie State. The producers as well. BGL be joining the show. NFL, college football action, wilder furry fight. So check out the Flex Zone. Episode 210. Click it under this link as well here on this video right on the Dice Money Network. Oh. Kicks it back. Thompson fakes it. Pulls up for three. And it hits the back on miss. Crawley grabs the rebound. Back over to Belfort. He shoots three. That one back misses. Rebound to Crawley at the free throw line and he hits. Nine point lead for the Gales. As I said again, Gerstel game. On the deck. Back over. And out of bounds off the turn over there. The ball back to Mount St. Joe's. Rather turned it over. Crawley brings it up. 151 left in the first half. Bell four. Inside. Brown going up. He's shooting two. 19 foul against Gerstel. First shot from Brown. In and out. Second shot. That one goes in. So the lead is to 10, 26-16. 98 seconds here left in the first half. Getting that Mount St. Joseph controlled the pace. Chris Towers made some runs, get it close. And the size of Brown right now has been the difference in the game for Mount St. Joe's. Stanton. And crossover here. He turned it over. Bishop. Bell four. Two points. Back over the other way. Stanton kicks it. Pass it back. Inside gets it in is Carpenter. Lead still at 10 with a minute left here and a half. Bell four. Inside. Brown couldn't finish it with the dunk. And it's going to go back to Gerstel. 43.8 left. Off the screen. Back over, drives. Nice footwork. Jumper, that one tipped and missed. Rebound there. Over the car. Crawley. Shot clock is off. 20 seconds left here in the first half. Crawley pulls up and spins it in. Nice from the sophomore point guard.
Cross over there. Harrison kicks it back. Pulls up at the buzzer, hits it! Let's see, yep, the shot will count. So at halftime, it's a 10 point lead for Mount St. Joe's here. 30 to 20 over Gerstel. We'll be back with the second half here on the Dice Wing Network. Right after this. You stay tuned now. Second half is about to get underway to Mars Tie. Alexander Johnson here with you at the Smith Center in the campus of Mount St. Joe's, a 30 20 game for the Gales. And Gerstel hanging in there so far, similar to what they did two weeks ago at La Jolla in that contest, which they was not able to pull out. They did beat Mount Camel. They opened the season with a loss at home to St. Francis, and then Friday night, they took on McDonough and held in that game, but not enough there against the Eagles. And as they get the ball to start the second half, the Falcons do. Weather over to Harrison. Harrison against Crawley. Harrison's looking to drive, pulls up off the glass. It was high. Rebound there by Tinsley, and then he traveled. He's trying to get his footing. So, ball back to Mount St. Joe's. 7.37 here. Start off in the third. Crawley brings it up. Back over to Bishop. Bishop for three. Front end miss. A foul against Gerstel. First team foul on them. As you know, it was a foul against uh, Mount St. Joe's. Looked like they called it on Brown. So back up come the Falcons and Carpenter, Singer. Pull up and not there. Ball back to Mount St. Joe's. Here in this one. And check out our action from the Charm City Challenge. Bishop lays it in for two. Here comes Gerstow pushing it. Barrera all alone and he gets the two to go in. So Trey to Baskets still keeps the lead at 10 for Mount St. Joe's. Bishop back over. Bishop drives again and lays it in. Now he's looking like his AAU self a little bit there. Driving to the lane. Carpenter. And a foul against Johnson there. First team, second team foul, excuse me, on Mount St. Joe's. Carpenter fakes it, and it's going to go to the Gales. Bell four will inbound. Over to Johnson. Swings it back over. Bell four. And a walk. And Gerstel gets it back. So a couple turnovers here. And it is looking good so far for Gerstel. You know they're down by 12. Trying to get some points on the board now. Wow, wide drive to the lane. And Thompson puts the two in. And it's a 10 point game now. Crowley brings it up for Mount St. Joe's. They're in their white home jerseys with the purple trim. Bishop from downtown, three and one more for him. 
Coming up to shoot two. Let's see, shoot Deanne one, excuse me, is Bishop. First shot. Got it. That's the end one shot, excuse me. Got it. Four point play. And a 14 point lead here for the Gales. 5.30 here left in the quarter. Drive. Block from behind by Brown. Fast break. Crawley brings it up. Passes it. Bell four for three. Hits it. Time out by Gerstow in the lead which was only 10 point lead, has now jumped up to a 17.1 off the two threes and the and one with the three from Bishop. So it's 5.16 left and Mount St. Joe's asserting themselves here trying to get to four and one. Back to game action, and right now, Gustel trying to hang in this thing now. They was within striking distance, and then uh, while St. Joe's can do, when their threes start hitting, they can really make a game press go quickly. Not too much action here tonight. Public schools get started Wednesday. Up side, no good. Back comes Bishop. Swains, Alley, uh-oh, and a foul. Bishop was trying to drive and he went to the floor. Had the chair pulled under him. Thirteen foul against Gerstel. And as the ball will be inbounded out. Inside to Johnson, blocked from behind. Back over, stolen. Carpenter with the handles here, brings it up. The good news, the bad news is didn't have the numbers. Tinsley puts it in. Nice mid-range shot there. And it's 41-26. As we saying with the public schools, a lot of action coming your way, including City and Mervo. Should be an interesting matchup to start on season for both teams. See where they are in the season. That drives, that layup did not go. A lot of non-conference matchup. Oakland Mill and Catonsville is one. We'll see both of them taping on Saturday. CCBC Catonsville back over, spins it in by Burrell. 41 28 game, lead cut to 13. So again, it's Gerstow Academy team, the B Conference champions from a year ago. They're feisty, and they're not going to go away quietly in this game. Inside, Brown got it in there. Very nice for him. Drive, back over, layup goes in for Tinsley. 43-30 affair. And Johnson brings it up. 3.33 left. Bishop tries to drive, tipped and miss. We run back over to Carpenter. Carpenter swings it over. Harrison off the glass, offensive rebound, didn't go. Fights for the rebound, Bishop able to keep it. And over to Johnson now. Here comes the Gales. Bishop trailing, and he's something shooting. Should be shooting two, and that is the right call. Baltimore Sun. Top five coming out. They're going to have their preview coming out this week. And uh, how about Delaney? Ranked in the top five. We'll see Delaney later on in the year at the Mayor's Academy Mixer in January. Okay, the Basketball Academy. At number three was this Mount St. Joe's team. Number two, Polly. Number four, Patterson. And we'll get Patterson next week. Here on the Dyes on the Network against Aberdeen. As we're supposed to give you Wild Lake and Patterson, that game will not happen until February now. Carpenter. 
Brings it up off the screen. Back over. Double team as Harrison drives, pulls up. That one tipped and missed. How about the hustle there? Nice hustle by Gerstow. Carpenter, another chance. That one tipped and missed, no good. Brown long arms gets it. Two on one fast break for Mount St. Joe's. Bishop off the glass and in. How about that one? Harrison. Almost lost his handle temporarily. Score is 47 to 30. And offensive foul against the Falcons. That's the 14th foul against Gerstel. 216 here left in the third. Crawley brings it up. Bell four. Now four back over. Bishop for three. Hits it. It's a 20 point lead now, 50 to 30. As you said again, when Mount St. Joe's start hitting that outside shot, ball's lost. Crawley back to Bishop. Bishop gets the layup. Noble. And lost it is Noble. Back comes Bishop again. For the Gales, all the way, he's shooting two. So a two-shot foul here for James Bishop going to LSU next year. Now LSU is a big... Football school down in the SEC uh, in Louisiana, but a little basketball action for James down there. Had a great AAU season in the spring and summertime. And trying to carry that into the season. Second shot hits. So it's a 54 30 game as uh, Mount St. Joe's have dropped long distance and they have. Been able to push. That's a foul. And the ball back to Falcons on the end of the court. Big matchup coming up is uh, St. Francis Garetti this week. We'll bring you results of that one on Saturday. How that one win. Inside of Stanton. That's a three. That one didn't go. Offensive rebound, and it was stolen. Johnson back to Bishop, and he lays it in for two. Amazing third quarter for James Bishop here. Really has gotten himself asserted in this one. A foul off the ball against the Gales. Verse tell. Will we inbound again? 102 left here in the third. 56 30 game. It's Verse tell. Fifth game of the year. Like I said, they played some really big time teams here in the A conference. Going back to the B. That one was no good as well. Back over the other way now. Inside layup is good from Bishop again. Jane Bishop rolling here in the third quarter. Looking good. Carpenter back over. That's a long distance jumper. That one was very nice. Another one from Matthews. As your shot clock is off. Yeah, and an amazing third quarter. A third quarter that has seen Mount St. Joe's score 28 points. Inside, make it 30, and that was Crawley. Carpenter, high, and will not go. After three. Mount St. Joe's looking good here, 60 to 32. And similar to Gonzaga against them, trying to rebound against Kirstel. And looking good so far. Congratulations to Boy Ladin as well. They won the Kiss Week tip off up in Western Pennsylvania. We will see Boys Ladin later on in the season. 
at the Hoops Festival in January. And we get them as well against St. Francis in a key MIAA conference matchup. And like I said, the next time we will see you is taping will be this coming Saturday live and will be up next week. The first ever IAABO 23 Challenge at CCBC Catonville start with Catonsville. The Comets up against North County and Anna County. And then at two, C. Milton Wright. You can see them for the first time. We've seen them in the Fall League this year, the Tunnel Vision one in St. Francis, and they will take on North Carolina down in the Eastern Shore. Maryland. They come on up. They was one game away from winning the 2A last year. The Merville and Kate Calvert Hall team contrasts the styles there in the middle game. Will on and Oakland Mills. One, there's a lot of people are interested in seeing. And finally, this Gersh Tail team will see them one more time against City. Coming up. And the dice right now with the next week. Aberdeen and Patterson will come your way. So, a lot of basketball action here to come early December. We'll be bringing it to you. Right here on the Dice Boy Network. Carpenter right now brings it up, though, for first Tau. Back over. Drive. Nice behind pass. And then a Thompson, and a foul is called against the Gales. First shot from Thompson here. Got it. Second shot from Thompson. Got that one in. So both of them go. Inside, Johnson pulls back and hits. Stanton inside, the layup did not go. Hit off the back of the arm. Turns it over, back the other way. Thompson drives from behind his Sykes, and the foul is called as well. Shot goes for the Falcons. 62-35 game. So back inside off the back. On the floor, back over to Gerstow. Fast break. Three on three. And the bounce goes home there for Harrison. That one goes in. So for Gerstow, their next three games will be against public school competition. They take on Chesapeake and Anne Arundel County at Gerstow this Friday. Then, like I said, Saturday, they will see City. CCBC Catonville and Tuesday. It will host Memphis Mill in the afternoon tilt. From the top. Partner schools going at it there. And that should be an interesting one indeed. And remember, Gerstel only lost McDonough by one point Friday night. So again, this Gerstel team is very feisty. It will not go away quietly. Gil Gilman is Mount St. Joe's next opponent right here in the Smith Center Wednesday and Friday night. They'll host Calvert Hall as well. And then next Monday, they will be at Lo Oya. Their second road trip. Linden Country here. And then that three goes in. And 
play next Saturday, the Catonville Cup. That one, the layup is good for Bishop. Bishop with an amazing second half here. He's really asserted himself in the contest. That's a three, that's an air ball. Back over the other way. Turned over. Goes Chow. Pull up jumper. That one didn't go for Harrison. Crawley brings it up here. 444 left in this one. That three hits. 70-40, a 30-point game. Back the other way off the glass and in for Carpenter. Balfour, offensive foul, push off. Revivers run right in front of the referee there. 423 left in this one. Drive and a foul. Fouls is piled up for Mount St. Joe's as a, that's going to be a two shot foul. Fouls are like going to pile up against Gerstow, but that was not the case. First shot goes. I said Gerstow again. It'll be playing public schools the next. Three games. Chesapeake and Anaconda County. City College, we will get them on. On the Die Swing Network at CCBC Catonville and Milford Mill. They host them. So they have two home games and a neutral site game for Gerst Tell. So they will be going back home to open up. Inside, Bishop puts it in. So they have fared well against the MIA Conference play. Actually, beat Mount Carmel. Took McDonough to his limit. And in this one, they have fought, for the most part, against Mount St. Joe's. That one's inside, block, car. And car shooting two for the Gales. First shot. In and out. In and out. Games coming up here on the Die Sporting Network will include uh, matchups in two weeks. Polly and Lake Clifton and Patterson and Epperson. We in Baltimore City play on the Monday. City Patterson. And then we'll take a little pause for the cars for the holidays. Enjoy your season. You check out the Governor's Cup. Wamaco. A lot of teams in the area. One of the biggest tournaments in the country. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Ball back to Mount St. Joe's. And then we'll be back January the 5th. Baltimore well, Hoops Festival. We're going to bring it. We're going to bring it with the noise to start off the new year. So a lot of action coming your way. Uh, first telecast in January. Ball inbounded in. 312 tw left in this one. Oh, walk. See that travel a mile away there from Lamont Jackson. Back over comes Mount St. Joe's. Pull up, air ball. A 
Let's tell inbounds over to Stanton. He brings it up. Brings it over to Noble. Noble off the screen. And it goes in for him. 73 46, 230 left, turned over. Layup is good again for Noble. Out of bounds, it's going to stay with Mount St. Joe's. Went off. Gerstel player there. Swings it. That's a three. That hits. Wesley Chairs. Shooting the three in. 75 48, 158 left in this one. Stanton off the glass and in. And at the free throw line, hits it in. And got to the 50 mark is Gerstel. Team definitely. We will see Gerstel at least two more times, if not three, if they get back. As the ball slips out of bounds, they're back to Mount St. Joe's. And this Gerstel team very feisty indeed. And they will, again, not go away quietly. Gerstel will be back home, though, for the first time since they opened up against St. Francis coming up against Chesapeake. So, in a couple days off, Chesapeake and County. This might be against Baltimore County. We're going to check. They have Anne Arundel County down. It could be Chesapeake or Baltimore County. Inside, layup is good. Chairs again gets the two in. 117 left. Turned it over. Chairs. Passed it up. Inside. Layup is good. Good from Cameron Zapanosa. 79 50 affair. We're down to seconds left here. That's a three from Stanton. Front end miss. Here comes the Gales. That's a three. That one's been out. Off the knee, back over to Gerstown. Crossover dribble. Darton lost the handle. Back over to Mount St. Joe's. Layup goes in for Saxon Osai. We are down to seconds 23. That's a three. That one front end miss there by Smith so Mount St. Joe's pull it up they rebound against the loss against Gonzaga and beating the off-start Gerstel team by 31 here 81 to 50 and props to Gerstel like I said they are a vicey team and trust me they're not going anywhere so 81 50 is the final Gerstel Academy will fall to Mount St. Joe's and Gerstel Academy will get the pleasure of going home now. Get Chesapeake coming up on Friday and then we'll see them again against City coming up at CCB's Catonville over the weekend. We're back with a post game here on the Iceberg Network. You stay tuned. All right, back here post game here on the Diasporing Network and Gerstel Academy fought strong tonight. Just wasn't enough. Mount St. Joe's Rebounding from the defeat against Gonzaga over the weekend at DeMatha. And James Bishop, number 10, looking good in the third quarter. Dominated that quarter. Really put Mount St. Joe's ahead. And the Gales used the three bomb to really take care of business against Gerstel tonight. The Falcons dropped a one and four. They have been competitive. Lost one point to Mount St. Joe's. We've seen them against Loyola, and they lost as well a close game to them. So Mount St. Joe's will play Gilman coming up this week, as well as they're going to play Calvert Hall Friday. Both games right here in the Smith Center. Gustav goes back. They play three public schools, including Chesapeake. We'll see them against City. And then Mifford Mill next week. So they get back on track. Indeed, we should see them down the road in MIA B Conference play. Next game's coming at you is Saturday at CCB Catonsville in the IAABO 
23 Challenge at CCB Satanville. And then our next single game is coming at you next week at Patterson between Everdeen and Patterson coming up. So for my man, AJ Alexander Johnson on the camera. I'm DeMars Die. We say so long to you here on the Die Swing Network. Check out all the videos here. Like our official Facebook page now, Die Sporting Network, and click all the links and check them out under the video here. We say so long to you. We will see you Saturday at CCBC Cadensville. This is Die Sporting Network.